fourth, the fourth minute for this month, Dan, is um, to do maximise the use of the sunspot. The two with the beach uh, and the sunspot, they should go hand in hand, just to utilise them both. Well, it's in the right place, Dan, and it's, it's a sunspot, that's what it was, a sunspot. Yes. But it's a business venture there, we just hope yep. uh, that basically, I'm told it's full at the moment. And, uh, really good news. We just hope we can keep it full, because that's the trouble, what we don't want is to turn into a white elephant. So, that, okay. but, but it's, it's totally full, full at the moment. It's full at the moment. Shine on. So people use it, etc. I don't know what the prices are, etc. I think you can do it on a month at a time as well, can't you? Rather than for a whole year. Yeah, they're doing it there. So if, if they're doing Great it month potential. at a time, makes you wonder not when they do month at a time to start with. That's so good. It, it should, really should be a year concept. But there's there's, there's there. loads of opportunities for Jamie at the moment, isn't there? Absolutely. The most we've ever had. That's right. Yeah. Right, lovely. The sixth minute for this, oh, the fifth minute for this month is canoes, bikes, barbecues, deck chairs in that big area at the Sunspot, can we maybe hire them and store them there? And maybe, is there any way of using the Sunspot to hire these things? There is a manager there, I've met him down the side. It might be worth having a question, asking the question, Dan. So go and ask the manager of the yeah, Sunspot yeah. if this is possible. Yeah. And if possible, if we can't get a shed or something put in there. That's what I thought, then we can store all these things yeah. and hire them to be all. Yeah. Do you remember like the old days in the 70s, we used to hire the bikes? Yeah. That's right. Go around Jamie, yeah. we'd like to bring that back. Good. Thank you, Dan, you're a legend. And also, um, number six, someone mentioned sea patrols because obviously utilising the beach, bringing more people here, that'd be down to the Coast Guard, wouldn't it? We've got the Coast Guard, but um, unfortunately they stop at Clacton. Okay. They used to come down, they used to get, summertime used to get some, some down here, but I don't think we even get them near summertime now because obviously you've got to realise that in the climate we live in in this country at this moment in time, yep. it costs for everything and uh, you know, to get your, our own down here as a permanent place. This is because of money. Yeah. So if we ever have an emergency, we just find the Coast Guard maybe here. So that we are entitled as anyone else. Yeah, absolutely. Superb, so we do get sea patrols already. Uh, number seven, oh yeah, is that, that one again? Push bike fire, which Tony said about. Yeah. Tony, would you like to capitalise on a push bike fire like the old days? Well, we've got pedal power at the moment. You see, pedal power, yes. they're giving away bikes free to everybody. Yes. yes. So you've got that, that's a bonus. And then you're going to do the ones where- We can hire them out to the tourists. Seats. That's the one, that's the one we went yes. to. Do you remember the lady? Yes. When we did that walk? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we were quite dressed. Yeah, we were she, 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 she was happy. Yeah. She's on board with us. But <laughs> Things are totally going forward, aren't they? Has Alice Hart taken off? Yes. Commercial yeah. tourist products with bikes. So, an idea is, is guided uh, cycling. Hello, Tony. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have We're in the meeting. Have, have a seat, Tony. And we're going to be electrical and basically at the end of the day. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, said. I said there are three wheelers coming, and some are going to be oh, electrical. Really? That's all part of the project. Oh. We started with the bike. So it's all happening. So okay. So that's that question answered. Number eight minute of this month's meeting is a yearly beach festival. What are the chances of us putting it on? Yeah. Who do we need to go to? Well, you can put on a beach festival, then we can just uh, take the council, this is what we want to do, and uh, get it so we, So anyone can have the idea, we just put it to the council, and they'll either approve it or not? If you're going to do it, you've got to make sure... We get permission. ...safety, you know... It's community safety, isn't it? The whole lot's involved, there's a lot more yes. involved. It's community safety. Yeah. You've got to do health and safety for everybody there. Risk assessment, risk assessment, and everything. Still have but but if, if someone did all that, then it could be possible. Absolutely right. Superb, yeah. lovely. Yeah. All right, and then the ninth minute is a volleyball on Jowett Beach, which was your idea, wasn't it, David? Could you go more into that, please? Um, I said, David. It, it would have to be, like you said, about health and safety, yeah. so it would have to be managed yeah. in some way. It could, obviously, it might have to have a little bit of money to, to look after yeah. the maintenance of the, of the volleyball as well, you know? Well, that's so, a good success yeah. one there, but they promote sports, and yeah. really, they're the ones that... Exactly. No, yeah. that's, that's enough. Thank you, Dan, for another honest, great answer, which you've always done for the last 20 odd years. And it's because of this man we've had so much happen to Jaywick, and they're going to rename Jaywick Danwick. Do you know that? Not J Jaywick, Danwick. Okay, the 10th minute, Dan's thinking, hurry up, I've got things to do. He does all the veterans in that as well, you know. He does so much, Dan. He's such a great man. Uh, number, uh, that was a bully ball. So, number 10, this is your idea again, David. Wedding fair for Jaywick in Summer Shines. Oh, can you explain the wedding fair, why we got Danny and why we can film it? So, a, a wedding fair, yep. as probably you're aware of, yeah. you know, there's one in um, Copton, just on the outs outskirts of um, Ipswich. Yeah. It's a different company, but I was thinking, well, why can't Jaywick have one? With the sunspot on the beach? In the sunspot. If you've got the, if you've got the gear for, for doing something like the folk cameras, etc., etc., there's nothing to stop you, basically, as long as you... Register and do it right, setting yes. up something like that. 
Yeah. Superb. So anything's possible. Thank you, Dan. Right, that is the uh, tenth minute. We've got eight more to go. So the I know we're a busy month. Number eleven, economic weddings in Jaywick. Do you know, like Jaywick, you know, we we could have weddings. No, but is that's a wedding fair. But basically. Do weddings on the beach and hire a living for like 200 quid okay. rather than 10 grand for a wedding? Yeah, no, I think if somebody wants to be married on the beach, it's... it's, it's they do it in the Caribbean, don't they? They do it, of course they can. So we can marry someone on Joe Beach for less than 200 quid? You can get Vicar or somebody to come down or a celebrate to come down. I can get a biter. <laughs> yeah, right. It'd be like the Vicar. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Thank you, so we can do that. Everything's possible. Right, here we go. The next minute is... Do -do -do, number 12. There's rubbish in places, because Janet and Dan, basically, and other people have seen rubbish in areas on the seawall that have just been there for months and months and months. Yeah. What can we do? If I go and make videos on that, would it get removed? What can we do to remove you, it? You let the council know, in fairness, when we've done the litter picking, yes. they'll pick it up. As long as you arrange an arrangement, they'll come and pick it up. So do you just message tendering council direct yeah. that rubbish is in this area? You got that? Just is you, or email them. Yeah. yeah. Email them or phone them where the rubbish is. There's a department that deals with the litter. Yeah. And waste, etc. If you want, I can get you the number so you can bring it So Dan's going to get you the number, I'll put it in his book, and thank you. That's another question answered. Right, um, do we do? So, number 13 now, I think 12 and a half. Seawall Javik rubbish. Um, I saw a picture from someone earlier of do you know the seawall as you go around the back of the yeah. silver bar? Yeah. There's rubbish halfway on the seawall where people can't even walk past. And if tourists came to Javik for the day and saw that, that might put them off coming back. The thing is, sadly, that 99% of that is local people doing it. Exactly that. People, people are not coming and dumping it over the wall. No, they're some, not. Some are, but that's local people just dumping it there. They still do it. Yeah. Down the road. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so it's maybe the road, they could contact one of the organisations yeah. and we can help them move it. Somebody bit the bullet and turned around and said, it's your rubbish and they're fine. And maybe they've changed their minds. I don't know. Dan, I love your style. Old school. <laughs> Yeah, they've got enforcement. Enforcement office is in uh, Lotus Way, Dan. You know the office yes, is there, don't you? I do. There's a big office tendering is on the door. Enforcement. So there's places to report this to. If through. you want to go in anything like that, just walk in there, and that's what they're there for to help you. You are answering all our questions. Right, now we're getting to number 14. Um, who, who mentioned the Pay It Forward scheme? Where you buy a coffee, and then... Some, can you mention... Right, listen to this. This is the Pay It Forward scheme. Can you explain, David, again? So, say, say... I don't have any, any money to rub together whatsoever. Yeah. Okay, I'm homeless or, or, or whatever, okay? Um, I've been chucked out of my home. I haven't got any benefits. Um, I haven't applied for benefits, you know. Um, I'm looking for money to get by. I, I can't even buy a coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Someone's come into the shop or wherever it's gonna be, or whatever business, they, they, they pay for a meal, they pay for a coffee. Um, in order that someone who has that kind of position or they're in debt or something like that, so that then they can, you know, oh, thank goodness, you know, the community well, can have that person. Right, just if they're not trying to cut you short, is sure. everywhere, this has a coffee morning every Thursday morning, yeah. Yes. There's lots of places that have coffee yeah. mornings where it's free. People come in, get food, they get yeah. drink. It doesn't cost them a penny. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, what they, that's how they deal with that situation. Yeah. Right. You know, it's like we've got lovely people who run, run their St. James's Church, the homeless, and on a, so on a Saturday night they go in there, there's almost a hundred people in that, in that hall there, basically, who are actually homeless, living out in this proxy where they're out in there at this moment in time. And you think about it, imagine living out in this weather now, you can't even stand up to it. They've got the Trinity Church. Yeah. And they've got the Baptist Church. That's pretty good. We've kind of got our own pipe forward scene already. There's, there's three meals everywhere. But it's the same in the inclusion benches in here. Yep. On a Friday, they do a free meal. And regular people, 30 people every year, have been going in there because they've made it their own post shop. It's not their own post shop. Mm -hmm. in inclusion benches on a Friday, there, they do a free meal, lovely free meal, mm -hmm. three course meal, nothing. It's great news. Yeah. Right, so it's, it's around, it is around. There's just four quick minutes left now, Dan. Um, our lovely members, um, Janet and Dan, they got a dog, not just for Christmas, so they gave it home and they called it Elvis. And I just thought that'd be nice to share with everybody. That's lovely. Where's Elvis? Hello, Elvis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a lovely thing to do, weren't it? Yeah. Uh, number 16. And um, Dave had an idea. Dave, can you talk about your skating ring, roller skates ring? What, what, how would that work? Dave on roller skates? No, he, he wants to get a skating ring for Dave. You said the skating ring, didn't you, for Jovic? You think that would work like the old days? Sure do. So, like, roller skating ring? The problem is, at the moment in time, there's a fantastic idea, it's money. Everything, yeah. everything, yeah. everything is tight, tight, tight. Like penguin going round. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's that idea. And then there's just two more, Dan. Um, 17, more people pick, pick uh, rubbish up. 
That's a big thing you're talking about. Yeah, lots more people just should do that, you know? Just everyone should do it, take it into their own agenda. Well, I think the rubbish up if, themselves. If, if you look where you actually live and do something there, but... Yeah, if you live there, people should clear it up. All these people dumping it. But nobody will nick them. All I, all I would like somebody to say to me yes. is the number of the cars, you don't have to give me a name, nothing. Mm. And I'll report it. If there you, you go. If you see people litter picking, it's a dump and it's costing you all of this money. So message Dan Casey if anyone's got any problems with litter and he will personally take care of it. You've heard it here first. I'll pass the name on to the enforcement. It's Thank you, Dan. Right. This is what I love about Dan. He doesn't care who it is. He cares about Jay Whitmore. No, it's just... And Wrong. The final minute is we've got these crew in called Stephen and Lee, and they run this little thing called Bumblebee Mini Multi Sports. They stopped seven years ago, but they want sports equipment and stuff to do it again for 16 yeah. year olds onwards. Any ideas where they could maybe get some well, sports a, equipment? Active Essex is a, a game, it's there. Really. Active Essex. So, really, it's a it's try to get a meeting with Active Essex. You, you heard that, Active Essex? Essex? You can find them if you Google it, you'll yeah. find it on Google. Active Essex, Google They're them. They're supportive in Jay, but loads of projects down here they do. So, if you just yeah. contact them, you should get the help you need. Yeah. And that is the minutes for this month's meeting. Thank you, Dan. And thank you everybody. Shine on and thank you to my cameraman. I don't have to come out tomorrow now. Shine on. <laughs> Done it. Thank you guys. Thank you.